Hey Restorers, got a video here where I'm going to do a comparison and explanation of drive systems on self-propelled mowers. But this isn't a video of, you know, detailed teardown of a transmission or something. It's more of a uh, explanation of the type of drives that's available on self-propelled mowers. Now, this mower, well, let me start out here, I guess. This is a rear wheel self-propelled, just happens to be a Toro recycler. This is a Craftsman all dry mower. I'll get into that, what that actually means. But for comparison purposes, I don't have a front wheel drive mower, but essentially it's the same as what you would see how this looks. Okay. Except it would just be front wheel drive here. There's a transmission in the front. Drives the front wheels when you engage it and it pulls the mower along by powering the front wheels and the back wheels are free, free to, free to rotate freely. Okay. That's front wheel drive, rear wheel drive. It's what you have here. You have two wheels that have no power, power to the back wheels, the back wheels turn and push the mower. So in this case, we're pushing the mower front wheel drive we're pulling the mower then this system here which is all-wheel drive now this is not all-wheel drive like a vehicle all-wheel drive it's not independent four-wheel you know spin at different rates with some type of differential or anything really what it is is a front wheel drive transmission which drives your front wheels combined with a rear wheel drive transmission same as how this is set up but when you engage you're activating the rear drive and the front drive empowering all four wheels that's basic overview on what you have now just as a general kind of thing uh, a few years back generally you would have the cheapest mowers would be front wheel drive only then you'd go to a rear wheel drive, which would be more money. Um, not so much anymore. I've seen front wheel drives, rear wheel drives, kind of the same price. This all wheel drive, I don't know if, you know, they come up with this because, you know, years ago you had a car, people could understand rear wheel drive, front wheel drive. Now you don't really see vehicles like that. You see maybe front wheel drive and all wheel drive. So I don't know if that is what Main manufacturers go to this or they found that people didn't like front wheel drives and try to sell them on the idea of get an all wheel drive, you know, for better traction, stuff like that. Um, but let me just explain on front wheel drive. Okay. Like I said, just, I don't have front wheel drive to show you, but it just looks the same. Just that would say front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, you're turning these wheels and you're trying to pull them over. Okay. The bulk of the weight, and I don't want to get too scientific, but center of gravity is somewhere right here, right now. Okay. So if you're on pretty level surface, you can pull that mower along. Front wheel drive generally is good for, you know, relatively flat yards. Okay. Uh, once you get beyond maybe like 15 degree slope which you know, I'll just try to simulate something like this We're starting to go up a hill right so now this center of gravity shifts backwards okay there's no longer weight over these wheels so these wheels will start to spin because there's no basically no contact uh, with the ground because of the weight the overall weight of this this machine, you know, you're talking about 80, maybe a hundred pounds. Once you, once you get those, once you get too much of a, a tilt, your, your wheels just start to, to freewheel. Now, some people like front wheel drive. Uh, I don't, but you know, to each his own. <clears throat> Part of the reason I think that maybe they, Got the, we got the impression that 
front wheel drive was easier to use than rear wheel drive was because of the, you know, the way that you operate the mower. I don't really want to get into that because it's not really the purpose, but this being rear wheel drive or well, all wheel drive, whatever, you know, there's some type of a lever or something that you have to engage to get it to go. And then once you get to a point, say you're cutting like this, Okay, now I'm at the end of my my cut, so I'd have to disengage off of here and then move to whatever direction I wanted to go to make the next cut. Well, some people were doing was, I don't know if I'd say cheating or whatever, but you could engage the front wheel drive when you get down to the end right there. You could keep that engaged and kind of lift the mower. The wheels will keep spinning. Turn it, put it the way you want, and then just kind of drop it down. So that's not really the correct way to operate it, but maybe that's why they, they found that to be simpler to use. Now, I, I was planning on doing a separate video talking about operation of mowers and, and things like that, and you know, because I think that that leads more into a discussion of uh, you know, how the mower works for the operator. Um, but I won't get into that. Now, this is just a pure rear wheel drive mower. Okay, I talked about when you're going up a hill, you're losing traction. On this mower, if you look at the wheels, okay, say I'm going up a hill. See how that lifted up? This wheel is still firmly on the ground. If anything, it's getting more traction because that center of gravity, which is here, is now being shifted. If you got center of gravity right over these wheels, it would be ideal, okay? But even if you're on a flat, if you have a bag, in this case, we're not bagging, but if you have a bag, eventually that bag fills up. And what happens as the bag fills up? That happens. Actually, the weight of the material in the bag once it's full I mean it may not be that drastic but you'll actually get probably some lift off the ground so once those wheels on the front on a front wheel drive lift off you have no more traction you have no more pulling power so that being said it's more difficult to pull a mower than it is to push it like I said, this goes opposite of kind of the marketing and maybe, you know, what people understand as far as a car, you know, front wheel drive. Oh, that's better than rear wheel drive cars because, you know, they didn't have traction and stuff like that. Well, you can't think of it that way because there's no engine in the front over these wheels. And that's the same principle with front wheel drive because you got the engine right over the wheels where you're getting the power. In the old days, you had an engine here and you're trying to turn those back wheels. This is sort of the same principle in reverse. You know, your weight is back here, or at least in the middle, and you're trying to pull, okay? So, for traction, I mean, I'm not really trying to give recommendations, just more explain it, but if you're on a level surface, all things being equal, I think you're still going to get a better uh, propel out of rear-wheel drive, but front-wheel drive, it'll be pretty similar. When you start getting into hills, you're going to start losing that. When you start putting a bagger on and filling the bag, you're going to start losing that. So the only advantage that you have here is that when these wheels aren't really making, uh, you know, propelling very well, you have your back wheels making up for it. But there's no difference than if you just propel the back wheel and not the front wheel. Now, don't get me wrong, if you have this type of mower and you like it, that's fine. Uh, it's all preference, but I'm just trying to explain the differences. Another thing I would say is that front wheel drive uh, does not provide as clean a look in the cut. What do I mean by that? Well, I think it has to do just with the wheels themselves. When they're driving like this and you're holding the back end of this 
mower, you can kind of guide the mower exactly how you want it to go. With this, it seems to me like people cut the grass with front wheel drive. If you look at their lines, they, they kind of wiggle around a little bit. That's more of an aesthetic thing. A lot of people don't really care if it cuts and, and it cuts the grass, then that's fine. So that's just a little add-on. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about because I just did some cuts with the uh, Super Recycler. Okay, so here you can see I just made these cuts, straight cuts. Pretty nice straight lines. You don't really see to, seem to get that. You can even see a change in coloration, uh, the striping effect here. Now there's a lot of factors that go into this. I mean, obviously the grass has to be growing and ha you know it has to look green and you know look good. Uh, but those those pathways like that, to try to do that front wheel drive, in my opinion is uh it's it's pretty hard to get that so anyway hopefully this explained the differences um uh, in the two well three types i guess front wheel rear wheel all wheel and give you some idea of how they work and the benefits uh, that you might find okay so remember to uh like and subscribe. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. Thanks.